Hey everyone, Miss Jamie here. Crazy hair day. Anyway, I had already made a video to show you guys how to make the two of the frog activities for this week, but when I downloaded it to YouTube or attempted to, it said the video was too long and it wouldn't post it. So I'm just going to show you a couple of the activities. Um, I already made them, unfortunately, in the last video, and um, but I wanted to show you what they look like and kind of give you a quick description. So one of them I made was the froggy puppet with a paper bag. He's cute. Um, I just colored him with marker green. You can color in here if you want. I cut out some circles for eyes, put a little nose. These are good circle, or excuse me, scissor working activities to cut them out. So either draw the circles, have the kids cut them out, or you cut them out and then have the kids draw the eyes, color in the eyes. Remember, they don't have to be perfect. The tongue is just one piece of red paper that you can draw a line for them to cut and then they can help fold it up. Okay, So this is one. And you can make as many as you want if you wanted to make five, but you can see they can look different. This guy has bigger eyes, a long tongue. So however you want, just, just a paper lunch bag. The other one I made was with a paper plate. Um, you can color, paint, markers, whatever you want for the one side of it green and the other side red and looks orange in here but it's red fold it in half and then you have to give them eyes I want to show you here I made like two longer parts on my eyes so that they could go on the bottom of it and I could fold them up and he's just a puppet like this you can maybe feed him some bugs put some bugs in there and he goes blah 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 but you can see I made a couple of them again you could practice cutting out the eyes, or they could practice with the circles, but you could see here how I did it. So right here, just cut it out kind of long. So those are the paper frogs, the different puppet frogs. The other one was feed the frog. So I just took an oatmeal can. I happen to have an oatmeal can, just a small one. I just, you could see my paper doesn't fit all the way around it, and it's perfectly okay, but I put green paper on it. I did use hot glue. Um, one strip here and one strip here but if you have regular glue it works too you just need to make sure it's good the kids could then add the glue um, I had to cut the top part but I also did a little backwards but if you want to put the paper on the front the green paper and then the eyes they can practice cutting all that out and then you can help open the mouth um, and then you can put it back on and we could feed the frog and here you could work on like does it fit you could ask him do you think it's gonna fit in the froggy mouth he could eat them yes or no and go ahead and put it in see if they can put it in there do you think he's gonna eat the end oh it fits yay do you think the book will fit can he eat the book Hmm. No, but you can work on picking up little Legos, little coins. If you have like little gears like this, anything that works on that pincer grasp of grabbing, try not to work on full rake, but maybe more pincer and putting in. So anything that will go in his mouth, but this is feed Mr. Froggy. Yum, 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 yum. Maybe if you have some fake bugs, you can put them in there too. All right, so those are just a couple of the froggy activities that I made this week to share with you guys. Sorry I couldn't demonstrate them via this message as it said it was too long. Um, but you guys get the gist, and Mom and Dad can help you put those together. So have fun. Feed the froggy for me this week. He's awful hungry. We'll see you later. Bye.